this is Wayne here with Tri-County Locksmith Service and today we're going to be showing you how to program uh, user codes. We can add codes, delete codes uh, with our, let's see which one is this, BE375 is going to be this one. Um, pretty much all the Schleich products are going to operate the same. You're going to have the same uh, programming method uh, and basically if you still have your manual your numbers are going to be right here so this is what you're going to need to have and these are the numbers you're going to need to pay attention to you're going to need your programming code and your user codes uh, if you don't have this information if you take the lock apart uh, there is a sticker on the inside so you can actually see what you have there uh, so basically uh, we're going to take our programming code <clears throat> and then let's see here we'll enter a code and then we'll delete it um, one thing you need to keep in mind when you're choosing your new code is that it cannot be the first four digits of the programming code. So take a look at your programming code. This programming code is 5428. I cannot have a code that is 5428. So be aware of that when you're thinking about your new code that you want and you're having problems entering a new code in. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do 5428. Seven, oops, took too long. Five, four, two, eight, seven, nine. Okay, so then this red light is gonna come on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna enter the existing programming code, then we're gonna push the Schlag button, okay? Then we're gonna push the number one and we're gonna get these beeps that's still gonna be on. I'm gonna enter my new user code of four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do it one more time. Four, three, two, one. It's going to turn green. Once it's turned green, it has now accepted the code, and we can use that code on the door. So now, if we do, we can lock it. And we can unlock it. Okay? So now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to take that code out. Let's say you have tenants or whatever, you just don't want that person to have access anymore. First thing we're going to do is do the programming code. Five, four, two, eight, seven, nine. We're going to get that red light, schleg button. Okay, now to remove a code, delete user code is going to be option two. Okay, so now I'm going to put option two, you're going to get your beeps, and I'm going to do four, three, two, one. Then I'm going to enter it one more time. Four, three, two, one. Now it's been deleted out of the system. It will not work anymore. So we can lock it. And then it doesn't work anymore. But the other codes that were still programmed in there from the very beginning still do work. Like six, eight, four, one. So that is how you you uh, add user codes and delete user codes. Now, if you want to change the programming code, that's going to be uh, another, you can, you can do that. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is we'll follow the steps for option three here. We're going to put the programming code in. Five, four, two, eight, seven, nine. Schlag button. Option three, and I'm going to do six, five, four, three, two, one, three beeps, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now I've successfully changed the programming code. Programming code has to be six digits long. Has to be. Your user codes have to be four digits long. Those are the only options that you have with this unit. So now our programming code. will come on and it'll let us do whatever we need to do. We can add codes, delete codes, uh, we can do all that. Um, let's go ahead and change that back to what the factory is here. So I'm going to change the programming code again. From, let's see here, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to get our solid red light, Schleg button, option three, and we're going to do five, four, two, eight, Seven, nine. Red light, five, four, two, eight, seven. 
Now it's back to the factory code, okay? So let's say we accidentally changed the programming code and we forgot what it was. And we don't know what codes are all programmed in here. Um, and we need to just factory default reset this. Uh, there is a way to do so. In case you delete all user codes. Let's see here. So basically, there is a way to factory default reset this. This also has vacation mode, disable lock and leave, delete all user codes. I thought they had a way to factory default. Well, we can go through the rest of the programming here as well. So if you want to do a vacation mode, you can do five, four. Oops, I messed it up. Five, four, two, eight, seven, nine. Vacation or vacation mode would be option four. Basically vacation mode. When enabled, no user code will unlock the door, preventing any unauthorized attempts of entry when no one is home for a prolonged amount of time. So, even if I put in the code that it came with, 6841. Hmm, okay. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, Right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.